Vagabond Vloggers, Bloggers, and Everyday Toilet Brewers. It's time for another episode of the Toy Vlog Brewing Show, and we are in my car, so if it sounds horrible, now you know. And half the time I'm recording everything <coughs> on my phone anyway, so, uh, but I'm headed over to my buddy Kyle's house. Uh, he's part of our Buzz Brewing uh, Club. Stands for Boneyard Union of Zermagical Zealots. Zermagical basically means fermenting. So, but we do all kinds of stuff. We um we don't just do, you know, beer and stuff like that. You know, we also do like hot sauces, um, fermented foods. Um, like one of the guys made kimchi one time, and you've seen a video where I did some hot sauce, and that I learned that through the brewing club. Uh, vinegar as well too. I got a video of that coming pretty soon. Um, but yeah, all that other stuff I've learned through the, through the brew club and we also do gardening and stuff like that. Like all those cayennes I grew myself and so, but we're headed there for a special thing that Kyle's going to be doing. Um, it's, it's a German style, I think, and don't, I will probably come back with another part on this video and explain more of the process. Cause I'm not going to be doing the brewing. It's going to be him and the people at the buzz brewing. I mean, at Kyle's of Buzz Brewing doing the brew. I mean, I'm going to be helping. That's why I'm there, uh, why I'm coming. But it's a Steinenbacher, I think. I, I, it's it's a German style beer. But what they would use is that they would use hot rocks to bring the, you know, the the beer or the water up to like steeping temperature. You know, for when you steep your grains, and then you put even more hot rocks in to bring it up to a boil so you can boil your hops. Uh, he's never done anything like this before and it's uh, it's gonna be fun. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, yeah, the whole entire point is that he made a special thing so we could all like get together and kind of try it out. He's done some research and everything and as of, I think it was eight this morning, he put those rocks on the fire and they've been chilling out ever since. This guy lives on the complete opposite of town from where I live here in Champaign, Illinois. Uh, but what do you call it? I'm driving there. I'm going through downtown. Everybody's outside because it's freaking beautiful. It's 80 degrees here in Champaign. I take that back. 78. As of what my dash says, 78. But it's really nice and everybody's downtown hanging out. And I've got a three-day weekend, so... Ah, red light! <laughs> Well, yellow, but still, I've got a three-day weekend, so I convinced the wife to let me go hang out with the brew guys uh, for a day. I'm not going to be there all day, but either way. Uh, and I'll have uh, videos of him doing the stuff and everything like that. So it's going to be pretty cool and uh, interesting and something to learn that's new that I've never learned. So either way, we'll see you on the next video. So here is our hot rocks. It's our mash ton that we're going to be using. And then we got ourselves a wart chiller over here. This thing is so huge. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a fun learning experience. Do so, you yeah. mass schedule, just like one rep, one tenth? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do yeah, single. Yeah, I'm just going to do 152. What? Uh, how high is the temperature right now already? What, what's it's only the like 80. Like? Hmm. Uh, like I did 11. I did 11 pounds of uh, Marisada, a pound of Crystal 60, and a pound of Crystal 120. Okay. He's talking about malt, by the way. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Got a little stirring action in there. With all the rocks in there, are you going to have enough room for a grain? Yeah. We should. You got, you're doing a grain bag, bag, right? Grain bag. Yeah. Yep. Pick them up. Yeah. Oh, man, that smells good. It's going to be so slide. <laughs> Blood and skin tail. Yeah, so we didn't get it to get up to temperature with the rocks that we were using, so we're having our own buddy propane help us out. Are you just going to take the rocks out so that you have more volume? Uh, yeah, I will. I'll end up doing here. I'm pretty sure all the flavor that they added to it is just in there now. 
Yeah. Well, you're going to want to put well, like a fresh rock or two after, in. After. Like yeah. once the mash like maybe starts cooling so you can get the caramelization. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah it would definitely... uh, Adam, you want to maybe stir or... Are you sure that's not the bird seed? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, we don't want any dough balls, so any stir. Yeah. Dough balls are when uh, grain gets stuck together when you're uh, stirring in. Damn, it smells good. It does smell good. <laughs> I noticed, like, when you guys were doing Big Brew Day, uh, Anthony had you guys wearing masks when you were. Uh, well, yep. Is that like OSHA standard crap, or was he like? It might be. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I was fine with it because, like, grain dust was everywhere. Yeah. The thing smells so terrible. Like my family gets pissed off every time I brew it because like the whole basement smells like just all the stuff that you are like really glad you're boiling off. Yeah. <laughs> like all the bite like good old CMS. So yeah, we got it all stirred in. We got our hour timer started. The temperature right here, 150. Put the lid on to keep the temperature. Keep the yeah, that too. Is that a cake? <laughs> right? It's just, it's just... Almost at the halfway mark, just giving it a little mix. Make sure everything's stirred around. For people who don't know, it's the brew in the bag system. Seen it in my other videos before. No. <laughs> I did. I found. I put one of my false bottoms in there to cover up your copper and okay. that. Okay. So. so this is a mash out. Yeah. You got a cookie sheet that you don't care about getting hot. Yeah, there. I'm just wondering how that thermometer gauge. Is gonna so this is the bucket with uh, all of the grain that we used. We're going to let that push out and sparge, and then we're going to just dump it in there with the boil whenever it's ready. And uh, we'll show the hops and everything like that going into the boil. And Yeah, very cool. Squeezing out the last little juice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's a boil. There's our boil and we got our, our hop. What is this thing called again? Hop? Kegel? This one? No, the hop thing. Oh, the God, the hop spider. Is it the hop spider? Yeah, the hop spider. That's what I've heard it called before. So, whenever I've done any of mine, I've just put another brew in the bag in there because yeah, that yeah, we we'll basically put the hops in there. That's fun. Okay, how about you? Good. All right, the hops are in. What were the hops again? Columbus. 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 Doing Columbus for sixty, Columbus. and then. Two. There's our hops. So in fifteen twenty, we're doing Clint Gold's style hops, and this will boil like this with the hops in it for an hour. Kids in your YouTube these days. Hey, I've had my YouTube channel for eleven years. I have fifty subscribers. Damn <laughs> bad. That's our what? Our fourth, fifth? Rock in there? I don't know. Who's counting? Who's counting? Are they all still in there? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good. I didn't know if there was wicked. Yep. I, I didn't know out. if you grabbed them out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's do some more hops in. Wait. You're doing a 60 minute and a 20 minute? All right. So we are about ready to put in our second edition of hops. Which, uh, what hops is this? 
Columbia, Columbia hops that we're gonna be. So this guy's still been boiling this entire time. Yeah, it should be bitterness in there. Get some nice some bitterness, bitterness notes in there. <laughs> All right, so this is what Kyle's got as his work chiller. It is called a counter current. So cold water goes in here, and then the wort will go through here, and then just the water just gets pumped through and everything. Very cool. We're going to see it in action, too. So that's it. <laughs> Some hops. So we just turned off the flame. So it's going to circulate through the wart chiller and go right back into this then. You can just let it Comet. do a hot steep. You don't need to circulate. Comet. Yeah, Unless you're trying to cool, cool it down. Just to like load it. Get it cool. In. Okay. Load it. Grapefruit, rose fruit. Bravo. We dumping all this in? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> smell it if it smells like. So I guess we're, we're turning it into an IPA. Come on, muscles. You got it. You see his pecs? I mean, come on, he can lift that. I'm good. Smell it. Pass it around. I want to smell it. Interesting. You kind of got a kink in the tube down there a little bit. There you go. Get the guys smelling the hops over here. Let's give it a smell. Yep, smell it. Smell it. <laughs> so we're doing Bravo. Here's a little Carlos. Lotus. Carlos Lotus. Sultana. Sultana. <laughs> Seriously, oh, that one actually smells really nice. I, yeah. That one's definitely They're fruity. open. They're open. Yeah. Fruity, hoppy. Got Amarillo there. And Amarillo unopened. I don't smell any cheese. Cheese is bad, right? Yeah. Yep. Unless you're making a lambic. You didn't even know it's bad. <laughs> I have aged hops. I do like too. Like whole cone that I've just been sitting on at the club ever once. I to bought it from, from uh, Yakima Valley Hops. So, that, you know, they probably. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I think they still threw a lot of bitterness into the beer I made. How old are they? They didn't say. They just said their age. So I assume <laughs> that those guys knew. Okay. But they're not telling you. No. They didn't say four years, eight years. <laughs> Mine are homegrown. Age tops. It's the unopened one smell. Do you want to sniff? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Don't bring your tongue. <laughs> or do. All right. Uh, you guys want to pour the hops in? Yep. yep. Got the first one. Everything. Everybody's got one, right? All right, Larry. Yeah. Here's yeah. It in here. All right. Dump okay. It, dump it in the thing. Everyone but Kyle, I think. Yep. Good enough. He <laughs> did the other competition. Yeah, three and a half, maybe three. Oh, I think each of these worn out. <laughs> yeah, some were open though. We're like, maybe it's because he had used them previously. Some were already oh, open. Okay. Yeah, but we had how many packs? All right, so we got cold water one, going in. Two, three, four. Are out. Wow. Yeah. We got our pump. It's yeah, going. Three to three and a half. It's going to the other side. So how long does this usually take to cool it down? Oh, it's it's. Is this uh, the temperature gauge for it? Yeah. Well, so that's that's, that's gonna be the work. That's the work coming out. So it's gonna yeah. be cooler. So we want to go off of what's this one. Ah, okay. All right, we'll come back with the rest. 
All right, we finally got it chilled down and we are racking it off into the cake. That's what our final product looks like. And uh, Kyle's basically just gonna let this chill for a day and he's gonna pitch what kind of yeast? Yeah, Windsor. Yeah. Windsor yeast. But yeah, there's our uh, our thing, and then I'll try to get I'll try to snag a bottle and do a little review on it for the channel. Well, there you go, guys. You got the video. I know it's gonna like splice in half and half of us just talking shit and having a good time. But basically, that's the whole brewing experience. Uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it, and uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun editing it. And uh, we talked about maybe uh, street live streaming our brew meetings, and uh, that's something I might be actually really interested in. But um, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day and enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Peace.